Hello, today I would like to demonstrate the Iowa DOT's Road Analyzer tool, which works independently and with the ICE tool, the ARC online web map. So when you're in the ARC web map online and you want to bring up the Road Analyzer tool to start interacting with the data, you can click on any segment and when when the pop-up box comes up, there are two links that have the road analyzer route and the road analyzer segment. So for this purpose, we'll just click the road analyzer segment and then it'll go into a separate website and it'll bring up the tool itself. So the road analyzer tool is essentially another way of viewing and interacting with the data. And it uses kind of the same data inputs that the ArcGIS online map uses. So with this, um, we just selected one small segment and we're able to kind of see all the data that goes along with it. So where this is particularly useful for is if you integrate it with the ArcGIS map that we have. So under this inter integrations pop-up, we have ArcGIS map. And once you bring that up, you kind of get a sense for, for the context of where that segment is. And you can uh, change the features a little bit. Once you come down here, you can see all the different ways you can view the data and upon moving this slider bar in in the middle window you can see that the yellow dot on the map will also move as well with that so this is helpful when you want to look at longer stretches of roadway for example so you can kind of get all the data associated with that and you can kind of see how it changes with that you're also able to pop out a in aerial imagery um, to get a better look at where this is and where you're at. So for example, if you see a poor roadway condition, you're wondering what's what might be going on there, you're able to zoom in. Um, so to get, to get back to that point of looking at maybe an extended route to see how this might work outside of just a segment, we can go back here and instead of picking segment, this the segment link this time, we'll click the route. And what this route will do will take you to the ICE corridor itself. So the full extent of the corridor will be loaded and you'll be able to, to move with that entire corridor to get all the data across that entire stretch of roadway. So if you wanted a point between X and Y and you wanted to see the data associated within that point, this loading this link would be the way to go about it. So when you select a route link it does take a little bit longer to load since there's just more data being loaded so um, being patient with it and and knowing that it might take a few moments before all the data is fully loaded but once it is loaded as you can see before we we only had maybe a small little section of roadway maybe a mile stretch or whatever here we have an entire we have an entire length of the corridor which is about 20 miles for example so once everything's loaded and it is now um, you'll be able to move this in the middle and you can kind of see how that works and then again the very first thing that I typically do is to bring up the ArcGIS map so with that ArcGIS map now we get a better context we have a longer green point which is the starting and then we have a long and then we have the red point so all the data below you'll be able to see from the green point to the red point so if you use you can use both sliders here um, the gray bar the middle slider in the middle of the page that is a much smaller extent but if you wanted to use this gray scale bar right here you can pull that and it'll move the dot much uh, quicker and you'll be able to cover more ground so with that so we'll just scroll down here and take a look at the data. And you can see we have speed limit, we have maintenance district, construction history, whether it's on the CIN, we also have traffic numbers in addition to all the ICE data that you would find on the ArcGIS map. So how you might want to view the data could be, okay, we want to see what the data is like between 295th Street to Melbourne. So you can kind of pull this slider until you get about to that point. And then maybe you can go down here and check out the data. Okay, 
And then you can move along and see how the data is changing. And you can kind of see that during that path, okay, here is a, an example of where there's a through lane and a right turn lane. Okay, what's the data look like right there? And then you're able to zoom in on this map and you can kind of see the current extent of what that might look like. And it's just a better way to, I guess, associate the data with an image. Now there's a couple other different features you can use as well. Um, one of them is pulling up the Google Street View. Um, so clicking the Google Street View in the integrations button will pull up another window within this. So all the data is still tied to it and you're able to use the features of Google Street View within your map. So within this, if you wanted to really get a close view and you can even move along the route. And once you move along the route, you'll notice the bar down here is also moving with it. So as you, as you travel the route you want to look at, um, the data will keep up to speed with where you're at. So you, as you can see now, we're at the intersection. Uh, another interesting feature we have is the possibility for dual maps. So it's just, I guess, a Google, three different Google Earth views on how you might use that tool on how you might visualize your data. So we have the aerial imagery, we have the Google Street View, and we also have the roadway map. So all three of these things can be viewed at once. It's just, you know, another added feature of the tool. Um, so Xing out of that, we can go back to our map. And if we wanted to, you know, get rid of the Google, Google Street View, for example, we could do that that way. So if you, if you had an idea for if you wanted to change the extent of the route, you could also do that as well by using this route button. So we'll turn, we'll get back to the roadway. Use the route button and you can change the route extent and, or even select a new route. For this example, we will select a new route. Um, typically, this might be a more challenging way to view it as opposed to just jumping back to the ARC online web map and just zooming to wherever you want to go and then clicking a point and using it that way. But the road analyzer tool also provides that ability, um, just a, a bit more uh, manipulation. And again, as you can see, it's taking some time to load. So once, once it does load up, um, we, ha we have a entire look at the statewide road system and you can select any one of these roads. So once you select any one of these roads, just by clicking it, it'll pull up the entire length of the corridor. Now you might not want the entire length of the corridor because it would take forever to load. So clicking this slide button right on the left um, toolbar, you can choose your extent of what you want to look at. So as you can see the red dot moving, so typically I shoot for 10 mile increments. Um, usually that is kind of the best way to load the data. Uh, maybe 10, maybe 20 at most. So we'll, we'll stick with total of 16 miles. And here on the map, this is, we want to look at the data in between these two extents. So once we click the analyze route button, it'll pop us up to the, the screen that you've seen previously and the data will start to load. And again, it, it might take a few moments to load that data. Uh, but once, once it does load, you're able to use the same features as, pre as previously used before. So again, this is just a very high level view of how you might use the tool. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to, to demo this in any way moving forward. Thanks. Have a good one.